Hi guys, I am with next video in this series. Today I am going to implement file handling in our project. We already have added a menu in our last video. We will open a file on click of this menu item. So let's get started. We will use dialog for the same. So let import dialog from electron. Now, we have to add click method, in our menu and, when menu is clicked, we will open a dialog. I am creating an ES6 method, and assigning it to click option, in open menu item. We will need our window reference to create a dialog. So I am going to create a variable outside of the method that will store a main window reference. I am also going to enable DevTools, by using method of weak intents in our window. In our click method, I am going to create a dialog using show open dialog method. First argument in this method will be our main window, which is an instance of browser window, and in second argument, we have to pass, open dialog options. First option in this key is properties, where we set open directory and or open file. For now I am going to use open file. Second option is filters, where we specify, which type of file, are allowed to open, like text, conference, image, mp3 etc. We are going to select only images that's why I am going to specify, jpeg, jpg and PNG file format to be selected. Third option is title of our dialog. Now, when user either select the image or cancel it, we will attach a then function where we will receive result. This result object has cancelled key which will be true if user has cancelled the file selection, and false if user has selected the file. I will add a condition to check this. If user has not cancelled the file selection, then the selected file, will be stored in file paths, key of result object. This will be an array of strings. Since we are going to select a single file then I am get zero index value and printing it to console. I am also going to attach a catch to handle any error occurred. Now, let's start our application. Click on open menu item, it will open a dialog to select image file from disk. When image is selected then it will be print on our terminal. That's it for this video. In next video we will open this image in our window and perform some image operation using a third party library. Please like and subscribe, see you in next video.